Is it a watch? Is it a camera? Is it a tiny robot sent to spy on you? Meet Nixie, the drone camera you wear on your wrist. Here to tell us more about it is Nixie founder and CEO, Christoph Kostal. Christoph, thanks very much for being here. Thanks for having me. So give me a better idea of how this works, what you created it for. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's a, cameras have been developed to take pictures of what you see. But the need often is much more that you actually take pictures of what you're doing and when you're out there having adventures, when you're, when you're around with your family, you want to capture this moment with you in it. And we finally want to give you a camera that is good for capturing this. So, and so yeah. What are the different kind of photography modes and options you have to kind of capture yourself in action? So, um, I mean, it is this drone that rests on your wrist and then you send it off and then it can take a picture of you or it can take a burst of pictures of you or you can also set it to uh, take a short video of you depending on what you like. And when we were looking at the videos you guys have on your site, you know, you show people pictures of people rock climbing, pictures of people doing things outdoors. Now, you can be honest with me, Christoph. Did you just invent this so you can take more impressive selfies? <laughs> it's... It's really not a selfie that you would just post on Facebook and then forget about it. Think much more about pictures of yourself that you like to frame, that you like to put on your wall, that you like, would like to remember for a much, much longer time. This is the kind of picture you want to take with Nixie. Now, clearly this is a little bit different from a lot of the other drones we see because it's wearable. What are the challenges in making something like this that can actually attach to your wrist? They are great challenges because in the end, it has to fly, so it has to be light, it has to be well structured. But um, we have proof of concept experiments now that show that it is possible and now we go ahead and make the design nicer, we make the user experience nicer. But yeah, it can be done. And well, one of the problems we see with these lighter devices is they can be kind of harder to stabilize, maybe harder to zoom in on the exact person you're trying to find. How do you correct for that, make sure you're shooting the right person? Oh yeah. So um, we are working on different algorithms. One is inertial navigation. So the drone exactly knows where it comes from. And so it can turn around, take a picture of you, and come back. Or the other more advanced version is you really have um, vision. So basically, the drone can um, detect where you are and take a picture of you and then come back. All right, Christoph, what is the price point for something like this? And when should we expect to actually be able to buy it? We don't know exactly yet which set of sensors we will uh, use for this drone, so we don't know exactly the price yet. But in the end, it will give you more um, value than GoPro, so we expect to um, sell it for a bit more than a GoPro. And we're still developing, so uh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Pretty interesting product. Christoph, thanks very much for being here. Thank you very much.